Hi everyone, this is Teacher Ruthel, and today I will be discussing about Telegram. Its definition, uses, example, and steps on how to create it. Results of the test may have a little meaning if they are not organized and properly interpreted. And one way to organize data or scores is through the use of a telegram. A telegram is a contraction of tally and diagram. It is a presentation of data in statistical table where the data are tallied in a tabulation diagram, just like what is shown in this slide. Telegram shows the frequency of each score, that is, the number of times a score occurs. Let's consider the following set of data. Let's create a telegram. So what are the steps in creating a telegram? Step one is to create a table. The column stands for the tenth digit. Let's look at the distribution of scores. In this example, the highest score is 86 and has 8 as its tenth digit, while the lowest score is 56 and has 5 as its tenth digit. The rows stand for the ones digit that is from 0 to 9. Step 2 is to tally in the intersection of the column for the tens digit and the row for the ones digit. For example, the highest score is 86. We tally in the intersection of 8 and 6. Another score is 81. We tally in the intersection of 8 and 1. We continue the process until all scores are tallied. Step 3 is to get the total for each row and column and the grand total for all the rows and columns. Just like what is shown in this current slide. We can see that the grand total is 22. That corresponds to the total number of scores in our score distribution. And here is our final telegram. So what are the uses of a telegram? For one, it shows the frequency of each score. That is, the number of times a score occurs. In this sample telegram, the score 81 occurs twice, whereas the score 60 occurs once. So we can see the frequency of each score. Telegram also shows the frequency of scores in each tenth digit or line of tens, thus facilitating in the arrangement of large number of scores in an ascending or descending order. In other words, with Telegram, it will be easy to arrange the large number of scores from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. Also, Telegram is used as an aid in constructing a score frequency distribution. And it also shows the normalcy and skewness of the distribution. Telegram can help determine the symmetry or asymmetry of the data in our score distribution. That ends our discussion on Telegram. And here are the references used in this video. Thank you for watching and hope this video helps. Stay safe and healthy always. 
and see you in my next videos.